Is Germany a democracy or just a socialist country? Let's have a look in history. In the Goldene Bulle of 1356, the Emperor and the Princes agreed on a kind of constitution of the Holy Roman Empire. They also agreed on the future elections of the German King and Roman Emperor by the Prince Electors. This kind of voting happened even earlier, sometimes since 911, but since 1356 on a constitutional and regular basis. They did this until 1806, when the Holy Roman Empire was conquered by Napoleon. Since the 12th century, also the imperial estate, the Reichsstände, hold regular meetings. Next to the Prince Electory, also other sovereigns, Grand Masters of the Knights' Orders and delegated from the cities. They had to agree on new imperial laws. After the victory over Napoleon in 1815 and the Vienna Congress, many people in German countries wanted to participate in the government. This led to a revolution in 1848 in Germany and many countries of Europe. For some months there was a national assembly in the Frankfurter St. Paul's Church. While the revolution was ended by military force in most parts of Europe and in different German countries, King Willem IV of Prussia agreed on having a Prussian National Assembly to channel the revolutionary actions correctly. When the North German Confederation was made, Otto von Bismarck created a constitution for the confederating with a Reichstag. This Reichstag was pursued when the German Empire was proclaimed and lasts until the end of the German Empire by abdiction of the Emperor at the end of the First War in 1918. At that time the First Republic was proclaimed, the Weimarer Republik, that lasts until 1933 when Hitler became Reichskanzler and ended all democratic activities in Germany. In the Weimarer Republik the German women had first the possibility to vote. After the Second World War the Parlamentarische Rat worked on the Grundgesetz, the constitution for the Federal Republic of Germany, to get a democracy based on the idea of the Weimar Republic, but stronger to avoid any possibility to have a dictator anymore. Some amendments of the Grundgesetz could only be changed if two-thirds of the Bundestag and two-thirds of the Bundesrat agree. The first 20 articles couldn't be changed at all according to the entrenchment clause. In the German Democratic Republic the Soviet Union ordered the way to make the state and that this has to be a socialist state and a one-party system. Since the reunion in 1989, whole Germany is a federal republic, a full democracy and a social market economy. The Federal Republic of Germany consists of 16 federal states. Bremen, Hamburg and Berlin are only one city and a federal state. The other states are Schleswig-Holstein, Lower Saxony, North Rhine-Westphalia, Rhineland-Palatinate, Saarland, Baden-Württemberg, Hesse, Thuringia, Bavaria, Saxony, Saxony-Anhalt, Brandenburg and Mecklenburg-Vorpommern. In every federal state, except the three towns, there are counties or administrative districts with municipalities, except they are independent cities without an administrative district. Depending on the federal state, people vote every four years in Bremen, six years in Bavaria or five years or the other states, their local councils. They vote every four years in Bremen or five years for their Landtag, the legislative assembly or parliament of a federal state. They even vote every four years for the German Bundestag. Since 1979, they even vote every five years for the European Parliament. The vote is a general, direct, free, equal and secret ballot. Depending on the vote and the federal state, sometimes even citizens below the age of 18 could vote. 
but all citizens and sometimes even other European citizens could vote. There are only a few crimes like electoral fraud or high treason where the offender could lose the right to vote for two to five years, as well as he sometimes loses the right to be elected. Before an election, any citizen gets a notice that he or she will be allowed to vote and if he or she wants to make postal voting instead of personal voting on the day of the ballot. These days are always on a Sunday when usually the Germans have free, as usually all shops and companies are closed on Sundays. The polling stations are open from 8 o'clock in the morning until 18 o'clock in the evening. For every polling station there are about a thousand voters and there always has to be about the same number of voters. These districts are only adjusted if some district loses voters or gains voters, so they have too much or too few. Depending on the kind of vote in the federal state, the citizen has one to three votes. For the election of the Bundestag, there are always two votes. One is for the candidate and the second for the party. Until the last ballot, half of the Bundestag was filled with the candidates of the electoral constituencies that become the most of the first votes. The other part was filled according to the proportion of the second votes in a federal state. As the whole Bundestag should represent the proportion of the second votes, smaller parties got additional places as they usually did not get many first votes. Actually, they discuss a reform on the electoral law to stick to the planned amount of 598 members of the parliament, two for every of the 299 electoral constituencies. The powers are separated in legislative, executive and judiciary on every level. Judges are usually public servants for lifetime if they succeed in a probation period over several years. Judges for constitutional courts are nominated for several years at the federal constitutional court for 12 years and only once without a renomination. This nomination is done for the half of the judges by the Bundestag and the other half by the Bundesrat. The executive is usually the cabinet of the federal state or the federal republic or the local authority. The legislative is the whole parliament or municipal council. For the federal republic the Bundestag is the first part of the legislative, but every law needs the agreement of the Bundesrat. In the Bundesrat every federal state has one vote, so every parliament of a federal state. But beyond the politics there is even more democracy and this is written down in several laws. In schools the kids start to vote for the class representative, the Klassensprecher. In the kindergarten, usually the parents vote members for the parents' association, the Elternbeirat, in every group. In most federal states, one member of the parents' association of every kindergarten in the district of a youth welfare office votes for the youth welfare office parents' association and all of these vote for the federal state parents' association. In the school, the parents vote in every class for a parents' representative. Klassenpflegschaft. In elementary schools these class parents representatives vote for some school parents representatives, the Schulpflegschaft, and together with some teachers they build the school board, half and half. In secondary and grammar schools the school boards consist of student representatives, parent representatives and teacher representatives in equal parts. If you work for more than six months in a company of more than five employees, you will be allowed to vote for a works council. In every board of a joint stock company, according German law, half of the board is built with employees and the other half with representatives of the employer. 
you're even asked to vote for the Sozialwahl. Here the insured persons could vote for the governing body of the statutory health insurances. Of course, you are free to join a party, a club or a trade union. And even if you have the right to vote, there is no obligation to vote. While some say, who has the right to vote, also has the obligation to vote. You also have the freedom of opinion and anyone could say what he or she likes, with a few exceptions that would harm other laws. First, you have no right to insult. This is not an opinion, but an offense. Same as about use protection and morality or unfair competition. Second, you're not allowed to lie about or trivialize the Holocaust or make hate speeches about other people as this is incitement of people. Simply said, you have the freedom of opinion but not the freedom of facts or lies. This was a brief overview about the democracy in Germany. I would like to read what your democracy in your country is like, where it's better, where it's worse. Thank you for watching and see you next time.